Hi, my name is Dylan. I'm with Precision Welding Supply. Today we're going to go over the Model 207 by Arc Machines, kind of do a general setup of the machine. To start, we're going to undo these latches here and be able to lift up the lid of the machine be able to take the, a look at the interface of the 207. And first things first, we're going to plug in the power cord for this machine. Now there's a couple different options with this machine. It can run 110 or 220, but in order to switch the machine between the two, you're going to have to remove the side plate, flip the side plate to either side that you're uh, doing, and either switch the uh, switch on the left hand side down or up for 220. So today we have it on set at 110. We're going to plug that in. So we can plug in our weld head using either a 15 foot adapter or the small jumper. Uh, 18 inch adapters that we have. If you were to use an 18 inch adapter, you're going to have to plug your gas and your control cable uh, or amphenol directly into the machine. If you're using a 15 foot adapter, then you're going to plug all of the leads from the weld head to the adapter and then the adapter leads will go directly to the machine. All the weld heads come with a 10 foot uh, lead, so you always start off with that. Once the machine's powered on, it should bring us directly to the home screen. Here's where you can see your system hours. You also see your arc hours as well for this machine. And it also gives you some quick identifications if you have gas, sensors, if they're giving any kind of faults. Uh, you'll see that right away at the bottom lower screen. For us to be able to go to the calibration menu, which is going to be the first thing that we want to do whenever we're uh, powering on a new machine, plugging in a weld head. So to do that, we want to go to the setup, which is right above the F9 key. So we're going to hit setup. Now looking at that bottom screen, we're going to see the third option, which is head cal, which you're going to select F12. Then you have your three speed or RPM options, 20, two, and other. For the 91500, you're going to hit other. So we can hit F6 to go to the other option. And then here at the top screen, you're going to see to check the weld head that the weld head is safe to rotate, is safe to jog that rotor, and uh, you have your enter key and you have your enter option. You hit that enter option, it'll go through its calibration process. Once it's complete, you have the option to hit clear when done or change the model and serial number on the machine for identification purposes on the printout. If you do need to run the calibration again, it's just that enter button again. Um, or you can follow the directions on the screen. It says to hit C when done, which will take you back to your setup screen. This machine does not have a homing switch at all on it, uh, unlike the 217 so you will have to jog it back to your home. It will find home after it's completed a weld, but before you do a weld, you're gonna to have to move it back to that home position. Back in your main menu, you can hit library, and that's where you're going to see your different procedures that you can select from. Scroll down through these next screen keys, and we can see the different procedures that have already been created and adjusted. If you are wanting to create a new procedure with the 207, we'll go back to our main menu with that C button. We'll hit program. And here's where we can create, modify, copy, delete, save procedures and or transfer procedures with the EMM card. Thanks for watching. Hope the video was informative. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email.